Thank you, Eric. It, thank you very much. It's certainly an honor to join with you here today. You know, I hadn't planned on coming as uh, we're a little bit busy in Nassau County these days, uh, getting our budget uh, under control and advancing uh, plans to, uh, you know, correct our county's fiscal woes. But Eric called and he said, Ed, you got to come. I stood with you with the uh, last uh, attempt at redeveloping the hub and creating jobs and opportunities. Please come and say a few words about the hub and the future hub uh, for Vision Long Island. So I do want to acknowledge uh, Eric Alexander's advocacy. You know, we don't always agree on everything, but we do agree that we need to move our county forward and Long Island forward and create jobs and opportunities. Far too long we've seen uh, what should be productive tracts of land lay fallow. You know, the biggest, uh, seems the biggest attraction that they have is that of criticism and why we can't do something. That is uh, becoming Long Island's biggest export. Tr criticism and stagnation. And we're paying a big price for that. And it is tied in, it is tied in to our fiscal woes. Because if you look at our county, we really run on just two sources of revenue. Real property tax revenue and sales tax revenue. And we could all agree, or we should all agree, being the highest tax county in the nation requires action. It requires action because you cannot grow. It stops you from growing. It scares companies from coming here and buying property and creating jobs. You need to send the message that we're working on that, that we understand it's too high, and that's what we're doing in Nassau County. And then sales tax. We need a healthy economy. Sales tax represents 40% of our revenue for our county, the largest single source of revenue. And that's why the hub is vitally important to Long Island, not just Nassau County. It represents right now, in its undeveloped state, with an old and aging Coliseum, $200 million of economic activity. $200 million. So we need to come together and find out not only how do we keep the Coliseum on Long Island, but how do we redevelop what should be productive property in the center of our county at our hub. And that's what we're working on now. We've advanced a new plan, Accelerate Nassau, where we have now studied all of the initiatives that, quite frankly, have failed. They failed. We have not been able to come together to create an additional job there or build an additional building in the last decade. It's really unacceptable. You were proponents of the Lighthouse Project, whether you agreed with it or not, it failed, so we didn't create those jobs and that vision. Then we looked at a lighthouse light, couldn't bring people together to make it happen. Then I suggested the, uh, a casino concept. You may agree or disagree, but it held the dollars necessary to redo the Coliseum and keep that economic activity. And that didn't go forward, and obviously there's a very long road to achieve that gaming on Long Island. So then we looked to how else can we make this happen? We've asked our residents, do you wish to invest in redeveloping the hub? And that failed, not by a large margin, but it failed, mostly because the debate, and if you really just sit back and focus on this, the debate centered on why we shouldn't do it. There was never a thoughtful discussion on what it means to Long Island or Nassau County. There was never a thoughtful discussion on the remaining 50 acres and how that development would have helped Long Island. So now we're advancing yet another plan where we seek to work with the state, and Senator Schumer hit it on the head 
that we need assistance with infrastructure dollars to perhaps make this happen. New York State's been fabulous, Governor Cuomo. I know Senator Martins was here, I just saw him. You know, they've been good partners in trying to identify the obstacles and help us. We hope uh, Senator Schumer will do the same, where we can advance a plan and come together with Eric and Vision Long Island to create a mixed-use development there that will create jobs and opportunities, not only for this generation, but for future generations. One thing I know, and maybe I'm too aggressive at times, but reflecting on the success that I had in my own hometown community, Beth Page, where we faced the defense industry downsizing, so 20,000 jobs evaporate, buildings become empty, tax base lost, friends and neighbors out of jobs. You know, we faced critics in that redevelopment, but we moved forward. And today, there's over 15,000 jobs. And if you look on that property, what we achieved, you know, there's industry, there's things that, that people may not exactly embrace, but they're there and they're creating jobs, and it was important that we move forward. We expanded a power plant, not a popular thing to do in a neighborhood, but necessary for our economy and necessary for job growth and for the success of Long Island. That occurred there. Affordable housing, over 750 units occurred there. I had a vision that we would establish the film industry. Everybody said it'll never happen. There's a railroad that runs through there. You will never have the film industry on that property. That's what I was told. Today we have nine sound stages. Nine sound stages. We're filming major motion pictures, TV series. It's creating jobs and opportunities and dollars into our environment. My message is you have to do it. You have to get started. You have to build something. And you will create jobs and opportunities. And it will work. And of course, we want to do it as thoughtfully as possible. And that's why, Eric, we'll continue to work with you, Vision Long Island, and all of you, whether we agree or disagree. My office has been committed to listening and discussing and debating the issues. And that's what we all need to do together. And let's move forward in this next attempt to redevelop that property. Let's make it a success. Let's not just focus on the criticisms. And when elected officials get out there, and they have the right to criticize and point out you know, things that could be or may not, challenge them, what is their idea? What is their solution? Because you cannot afford to accept another no, another non-development, another missed opportunity. Because I assure you, we'll be here two years from now, three years from now, and instead of saying that property has 50 empty acres but generates $200 million of economic activity with the Coliseum there, we'll be here saying, hmm, now we generate nothing. Now we have an empty building. Now we have 77 empty acres, and we've lost yet another opportunity. To avoid that, you need to act now. 2012 is an important year. I hope that you will join me in working together to revitalize what should be a jewel of our county and Long Island. Thank you, and God bless.